Hey guys, what is up? Dota Tech here, and today I'm bringing you my $9,000 liquid cooled gaming PC. Before we get started, please make sure you check out my channel and subscribe so you'll get notified anytime I put out a video. Now, also before we get started, normally I won't do a video like this, but I just had to because it was a client build and I l fell in love with this PC as soon as it was finished. So let's get started. For our processor, we're using the Intel Core i7-3970X. This is a 6-core Extreme Edition processor that has hyper-threading, so Windows will see it as a 12-core CPU. Its core clock is 3.5 GHz, but with this build we'll probably get more or less around 5 GHz. And this is the ultimate desktop processor, and it's only going to cost us about $1,050. For our motherboard, we're using the ASUS Rampage 4 Extreme. This is an LGA 2011 board with 8 240-pin RAM slots, 4 SATA 3 6 gigabits per second ports, and a bunch of USB 3. And it's only going to cost us about $450. For memory, we're using Corsair Dominator Platinum. This is 64GB of DDR3 memory clocked at 2400MHz. Now I love this memory because it looks awesome and it's got a custom PCB and a light bar. It's only going to cost us about $1300. For an SSD, well two actually, we're using Samsung 840 Pros. And we're going to be using them in a RAID 0 array for 1TB of ultra fast storage and you've got to be careful with raid 0 because you will need to back up because if one of those drives fails you lose all your data and this array is only going to cost us about $950 for storage we're using two western digital black drives now each of these drives are four terabytes and they're SATA 3 6 gigabits per second with 64 megs of cache and for these two drives, they're only going to cost us about $720. For our graphics cards, we're using two NVIDIA GTX 780s. Each of these cards has 3GB of GDDR5 memory. They have two DVI ports, an HDMI port, and a display port each. And it's PCI Express 3.0. And for these cards, it's going to about cost us about $1,320. For power supplies, we're using two Corsair AX1200Is. This is 2400 watts of 80 plus platinum fully modular power. And both of these power supplies are SLI and Crossfire ready, and it's going to cost us about $700 for the pair of them. For a case, we're using the Case Labs Magnum TH10. This has two power supply mounts, support for four 480 millimeter radiators. It's got a slide out motherboard tray, and it is huge. The size is on screen there, you can check it out, and it's only going to cost us about $550. Now for our water cooling components. So for water blocks, we're using the EK Supremacy Nickel Plexi for our CPU block. It's going to cost us about 80 bucks. For our RAM blocks, we're using EK Monarch X4 Nickel Plexi. Now, we're using two of them, and it's going to cost us about 120 bucks for the pair. For our graphics card blocks, we're using two EKFC GTX 780 Acetal ni Nickel, and it's going to cost us about 360 bucks for the pair of them. And for our motherboard block, we're using the EK ASUS Rampage IV Full Cover Block. It's only going to cost us about 130 bucks. And for all these blocks, it's only going to cost us about 690 bucks. For radiators and fans, we're using three EK Coolstream XTX 480mm radiators and 12 Corsair SP120 fans. And for these, it's only going to cost us about $715. For reservoirs and pumps, we're using the EK Res X3 250. Now, this res is 250mm long. And where for pumps, we're using the MCP655 from Swiftech and with a BitsPower mod kit. And for these parts, it's only going to cost us about $215. For 
For fittings, we're using 6 bits power compressions, 9 bits power 90 degree triple rotary compressions, 7 bits power 45 degrees dual rotary compressions, and 2 bits power quick disconnects. And for these fittings, it's only going to cost us about $435. For fan controllers, we're using BitPhoenix Recon Fan Controller. These have 5 fans slash pump control each, 5 temperature probes each, each one has an LCD touch screen, and it's got automatic and manual fan control, and each of these is going to cost $40 for a total of $120. For coolants and tubing, we're using 3 EK coolant blood red 100 milliliters bottles of coolant for a total of about 3 liters, and 4 meters of XSPC red tubing with an inner diameter of half inch and an outer diameter of 3 quarters of an inch. And this is going to cost us about 75 bucks. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out some of my other builds. Links on screen. Also, there's a link to my channel on screen, and I'll see you next time.